Hey, how you doing? What's going on? Uh, I'm going to start doing video tutorials for you. And, um, and basically what the benefit is, is I'm going to show you step-by-step -step process in class, where we are now. And uh, this way you can go online and you can check this out and see exactly what we did. Because what I'll do is afterwards, I'll go here and I'll record what we did inside class and do a step-by-step -step using the screen capture software. Um, which is I'm using a I show you HD really cool software if you ever want to do screen capture like this um, anyways uh, and I'll do a step by step I'll record it and then that way you at home or even in the classroom on our downtime can play pause rewind and learn on your own time and do a great review so let's start this is my very first one um, so we'll do this on flash this is Flash Professional version 8. We're using a Macintosh computer. If I ever say that we're doing something with the Apple key or a command key here, that means if you're on a PC, you would use control. Everything else is pretty much the same. Um, and if it's not, if I'm not thinking about that right now, uh, I will specify and tell you in this video. Um, so let's look at the interface. This is all about the interface today. So, uh, using Flash. The buttons are up on top are just options. They, there's a lot of options under here, but um, file, you can go to the save, you can open, you can publish it, and you can publish it as a Flash movie, or you can also publish it as an HTML website, which is really cool, and we'll actually be doing both. Um, you can import stuff into your library, which is the stack of objects that you'll have to use for your Flash movie, or you can import stuff right into the stage if you just want to use it right away and immediately. Um, Edit, you know, is, it has edit, undo, uh, the view. You can see if there's a grid, if you're really trying to be accurate about something, which later on we're actually going to be needing that, the, you know, to go into the preview mode. And we're also going to be using the rulers and the grid right here because um, we're going to be uh, creating our own cartoons. And But more importantly, with those tools, we're going to be uh, um, creating our own video game, which uh, I think a lot of people will be very excited about. Insert is a lot. We, we're going to do timeline stuff right here. Modify, you can convert stuff to graphics, to symbols, to movies. You can break things apart. Um, this is all for your fonts. Here's your commands. The controls for the actual movie. And window is usually where all your floating palettes are. So all these, all these floating palettes like this guy here and this guy here, those are called floating palettes, and they're all under the window right here. So that's the top. To quit, you can just go here and hit quit. Uh, this here is the timeline. Very, very, very important. It's actually probably the one of the most important things in Flash, and it's probably the most important. And uh, basically, you it starts off with a one layer. You can create a whole movie on one layer. It's not the most professional way to go, but it's a way to go. It's a cool song. Um, but if you want to animate and you want to make symbols and objects and you want to have them animate and you don't want any all the other stuff in your stage to animate with it then you need to create its own layer and so here's a layer and all these numbers represent frames and I think the way we have it set up is it's 12 frames per second so if you wanted to do something for two seconds and have it something bounce for two seconds how many frames is that? 24 and so on and so forth. So that kind of gauges you like if you wanted to have something, you know, happen in a short period of time, you would make it in between less frames. And obviously, if you wanted to have it for a long period of time, you would extend it out for a long period of frames. And I'll show you how to do that. That'll be in another tutorial. Um, how you make a new layer is this button right here. If you want to trash a layer, you just hit the trash can. These right here, um, we can start doing something called onion skin. And uh, that's when we start doing step by step, frame by frame animations. Uh, which we'll be using a lot. Um, this is a motion guide. Uh, we'll be doing that a lot too. Here's your tools. Um, and I'm going to be tech. Our next tutorial actually will be in tools. So um, just be watching that. Um, this area here is your stage. That's the second main um, most important thing of Flash. And that is where all of what you want to do and animate and show is going to show up. Yes, you can change the color of the background very easily. Why do you see a gray area around it? Is because 
if you were an animator and you wanted to have something look like it naturally flown or came into the stage, you would want that extra area on the outside to kind of start the object so it, it's like not in the stage at all and then have it naturally come in. And we'll be doing that. We'll, we'll show an example of like a bouncing ball and we'll have it coming from the outside coming in. Down here is your properties palette. That's pretty important because any tool that you use over here on the left hand side, they all have options. Like every one of them have, uh, has options. And it'll show you the options down here. So if you take like the line tool, it'll switch. It'll switch all the options and it'll show you all the options it has for the line tool. And so and and you know, for the text tool, you know, you can click on the text tool and it'll show you all the di different options for for text. Um, pretty easy stuff. Um, you can go up and down, scroll up and down, move left and right. That's mostly like if you were um, zoomed in. If you wanted to zoom in and zoom out, like say like you were drawing an object, um, you can use Command Plus, which would be in PC Control Plus. So Command Plus would zoom in the stage. If I hold down the space bar, you'll notice that the mouse turns into a hand. What that's going to do is it's going to allow me in zoom mode to drag my stage around. So if I had something going on, I was drawing something, but I want to get really meticulous and get a close-up of it, this is the way I would do it. If I wanted to zoom back out, it would be Command minus or Control minus on your PC. If I go, whoa, that went way too far, I want to spe specify a certain size, I would come up here, change this, make it to you know, 120, kind of just so I can see a little, you know, a little bit bigger. Uh, here's your color palette. You know, we've got some mixing. We can choose a certain color. This is your library. So when you make something or you import like a song or a graphic or something, it'll show up right there in that tool palette. This is to align things to the middle of the stage, etc., etc. All right. So that is the Flash interface. If you have any questions, you can email me or leave a comment below, and I will get back to you. Hope you enjoy this.